as Denny Hamlin takes the white flag. One lap to go. Yeah, uh, just a great job by this driver. That we've talked about how good he is at this racetrack. He put all of those good skills to use today. Yeah, and so did his team. Best pit stop of the day, and by far the best handling race car. And the winner of the second race in the chase has gone on to win the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Championship the last three consecutive years. Twice by Jimmy Johnson, once by Tony Stewart. The second chase race in 2012 goes to Denny Hamlin at New Hampshire. Hamlin wins it by two and a half seconds over Jimmy Johnson. Jeff Gordon finishes third. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, Curry. He led nearly two thirds of the race after starting 28th on the grid. Doc, if there needed to be an answer, the statement was made loudly today by both driver and team. Absolutely. Getting in here with Darian Grubb and uh, Darian. It looks like the free race huddle and pep talk worked uh, perfectly. Your driver and your pick crew, pick crew were flawless today. Yeah, they really will. Uh, they did an awesome job. The, the pep talk really didn't do much because these boys are professionals. They were going to do that regardless, but it's good to know that the driver's behind us and we're behind him. All right, Darian Grubb headed to victory lane, and now time for some burnout action by Denny Hamlin, guys. He is going to burn it down. Denny Hamlin, the winner. And New Hampshire today in the Sylvania 300. Lots of post-race coverage still to come for the Magic Mile, including Victory Lane, which comes after we go NASCAR nonstop, presented by Five Hour Energy. Well, quite a celebration, as you saw from Denny Hamlin, who, first of all, might have done one of the best burnouts we've seen in a long time. He almost got into drifting territory there. I'll tell you, this is the best one I think I've ever seen. It's, least, it's probably the longest burnout I've ever seen after a race. But... Uh, burnout of the year. I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> Absolutely. He's only halfway through it right now. <laughs> well, it was a week ago at the end of the Chicagoland race to open the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. And a mistake during a pit stop left Danny Hamlin shy on fuel. He ran out of fuel in the final lap and lost positions and points, seven of them that might be valuable in this championship. Handled so well afterward by both driver and team, Hamlin said, we're gonna win next week. And by gosh, win he did. Not just win, but dominate, leading nearly two thirds of the laps today in this race. And then, like Babe Ruth back in 1932, calling his shot, <laughs> Hamlin paying tribute. <laughs> I like his style. He called his shot and he knocked it out of the park today here in New Hampshire. Victory Lane is presented by Tire Rack. A shower of suds and soda down here for Denny Hamlin. And Denny, as the saying goes, it ain't bragging if you back it up and you called your shot last Sunday. And man, you backed it up big time today. Congratulations. Yeah, I just can't say enough for this whole FedEx Freight team. This is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't hurt to have a little confidence in your team. And I know we've made a couple uh, big mistakes over the last two weeks, but I said we were fast enough to make it up, and we were. And uh, I'm, I'm going to have these guys back uh, until they die. I mean, it's just, just my team and just excited about everything. So can't thank uh, Toyota enough. Everyone at Joe Gibbs Racing at the Fab Shop building these race cars. These are lightning fast race cars that they're giving me. And, uh, uh, Toyota, FedEx, Sprint, Coke, Wiley X, everyone from the Nike and Jordan brand and all these fans. This is huge packed crowd tonight. Uh, can't thank uh, Jerry Gappins and his crew enough for having me up here to promote this race and told him I had a great shot to win it. Now I can touch that trophy. You told me the pre-race you wanted to be in the top 10 by lap 100. You took the lead, my friend, on lap 93. I think even you underestimated how good this car was going to be. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't want to sound too cocky, but I knew, I knew what we were capable of. And, you know, I just, our car was extremely strong, and I have a, 
really good knack for this racetrack, and it's just uh, the two together with a crew chief like Darian, it's, uh, it's a winning combination. Hey, you won the race and won the burnout. Congratulations. Let's celebrate here at Denny M when we're going to walk away. 100th victory, uh, Alan, for Joe Gibbs Racing and Sprint Cup competition. And well earned for Denny Hamlin and the coach and his team today, Doc. Well, Doc mentioned in victory lane the 100th victory in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series for Joe Gibbs Racing. Win number one came on a magical day in the Daytona 500. Dale yeah. Jarrett behind the wheel of that car. Pretty special day there to win the Daytona 500. Bring Joe Gibbs his first victory in NASCAR. Of course, uh, Mom, Mom Martha watching and Daddy Ned calling the race for CBS up at the broadcast booth. Certainly one of the more memorable days for a lot of uh, longtime fans of the sport. Win number 100 comes on a statement day for Denny Hamlin and his group within Joe Gibbs Racing. If they were to get sidetracked by anything, last Sunday and Friday might have happened, but not so. They kept it together, and not only that, they got Coach Gibbs' 100th trophy, Doc. And coach, we were just showing the very first victory at Daytona with some guy named Dale Jarrett, and now today, 100th victory. Congratulations. What does this mean to you and this team? Well, I just want to say thanks to everybody back home. It's an absolute thrill to be here. FedEx, but we got to thank Home Depot, Dollar General, Mars, and M&Ms, all of our sponsors. Just really appreciate that for us to be able to get 100. Appreciate everybody back home, motor room, all the way across the shop, technical guys, fab shop, everybody, thanks. It's just a big deal to know that we were, as a group, it took all of us uh, to be able to get to this point, so I'm thrilled with it. The commercial says that a young man told you when he was 10 years old, if you would hire him, he would win you a NASCAR championship. That young man was Denny Hamlin, today one step closer. I told everybody, he didn't tell me I was going to have to pay him a million dollars to drive for me when he was 10. <laughs> I'm thrilled to have Denny driving for us. It was a great, I walked out and he was standing there and thank goodness they took a picture. It was great. And uh, Denny, I appreciate his family, everybody. Uh, it's a great story for him. Really, JD deserves the credit. He spotted him driving late models. He said, come on down and get in the test. He got in the test. He was first. Put him in a truck. He wound up 11th, very first race. Put him in a nationwide car. He wound up ninth. And J.D. goes, I think we ought to sign this guy. And I go, good idea. <laughs> uh, and the rest, they say, is history. 